I swear, I'm about to lose it. I've been here all week, no results. It's been a nightmare. No, not for me, not them. That's the problem. Whatever, I am so beyond caring about getting caught on the phone during a job. And they're not even here right now. Yeah, it's like 1 a.m. Their sleep schedule is bananas, too. I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep in this bed either, but what the hell? I've got work to do, you know? I know. Typical monster under the bed problems. I'm surprised this bed even has an under. This is the kind of mattress you just leave on the floor because you've given up all hope. Yeah, it's not that level of rank bachelor pad, thank God. But I'm still losing my mind. Oh shit, they're here. I'll call you back. Can I actually scare them tonight? Oh my god, the dramatic sighing. Just go to sleep. Yeah, no shit, you're exhausted. You go to sleep at midnight on a good day. That's it. Settle down. If you just stop tossing and turning, I could actually do my job. All right, I have had enough. This, all this, completely unacceptable. Oh wait, does that scream count for my fear quota? Ugh, nope, still not enough. Son of a bitch. Hey, chill. Or don't, actually get more scared. I'm sick of being here. If I can freak you out enough with this, I might be able to clock out. Should be pretty obvious. Monster under the bed, you know the drill. Okay, maybe you don't, but it wouldn't matter if your bed didn't suck ass. What? Are you... No. No, okay, don't be mean. I'm sorry. Are you hard of hearing? I don't want to blame you if that's the case, but it wasn't in your file, so... So then you've just been putting up with this racket the whole time? You don't even sleep with headphones in. There's no way you don't know what I'm talking about. Your bed, or at least your mattress, is a creaky, squeaky piece of shit. You sit on it, squeak. You lie down, squeak. You move while lying on it in any which way at all, squeak. And you know who hears all of that right next to their ear? Me. Because I'm under it. I'm under it because I was assigned here. As a monster under the bed, it's my responsibility to cause fear and collect it to meet my quota. But none of my methods work because your bed sucks. Okay, you know what? Fine. Maybe that isn't your problem. I should be able to handle it because I'm a professional, right? But this piece of crap bed is a problem for you, too. As a monster who knows a thing or two about human sleep patterns, it couldn't be more obvious. Yeah, no. You do not get to call what you do sleeping fine. If you weren't able to sleep at all, it would actually make my job easier and maybe convince you there's a problem. Come on. A random unexplained noise here and there. The fear of the unknown. All while you can't get a wink of sleep. My quota would have been filled on the first night through paranoia alone. Gonna stop you right there. You don't know what you're talking about. I'd be fine with you sleeping well, because I can cause nightmares, too. Please don't assume my limitations. 
Yeah, the issue is I can't do that because what you're doing is... I don't know what it is, but it's sure as hell not sleeping. You're in like a weird half-waking state that I can't do anything with. <sighs> Your bed... It's not really comfortable, is it? Well, okay isn't good enough. You're constantly tossing and turning. Which, while being noisy as hell, also means you can't get comfortable even when you're asleep. To the point that it's interrupting your sleep cycle and your ability to have dreams. And no dreams means no nightmares. Ugh. Which means that I've been hanging out under your bed for the past week, going crazy from all the squeaking while waiting for an opportunity to give you a nightmare that never comes. Yeah, yeah, not your problem. If I fail to make quota this month, I'm going to make it your problem. Maybe I'll ask for some help from my buddy in the closet division. What do I want? I want you to buy a new mattress. It's clearly overdue. How long have you had this one? Only a year. Where did you get it, Ikea? A yard sale? And you weren't the least bit concerned about lice or, God forbid, bedbugs? Oh, I bet it was cheap, all right. I'm sure it's great for your back, too. What? Was it really a mystery for you? So then take my advice slash threats and get a new mattress. And try going to bed at a decent time. I'll see you when you figured your shit out. Hell no, I'm out of here. There's no way I'm getting anything done tonight. Management can call me a slacker if they want, but I'm not listening to creaks all night for nothing again. I swear, you spend like a third of your life sleeping. Don't suck at it. Good night. See, I don't have to deal with things like this because my bed doesn't have an under. I got it from Ikea. 